Hello everyone. In today's session, we will learn how to manage osteoarthritis through yoga. Let's get started. First, we sit in Dandasan. Legs stretched in front. Back straight. Chin tucked. Shoulders retracted. From your inhaling, we'll squeeze and contract the knee. Exhale, relax it. Inhale, contract. Exhale, relax. You'll notice the thigh getting contracted with the knee. Exhale, loose. Inhale, tight. Exhale, loose. You can do this up to 12 to 15 times at a stretch. And relax. We'll move to the next exercise where we will require a makeshift foam roller. So you can take a bottle, wrap a towel or a napkin around it. It is what we call as jugad. And then place that makeshift foam roller underneath your knee, right below the knee. Now lift the right leg up, pull the toes towards yourself. Back should be straight. Exhale down. Left leg up. Exhale down. Right. Down. Left up. And down. You can hold this for 5 to 10 counts as well. Continue. Same you can do up to 15 to 20 times. We move on to the next asan which is called Bhujangasan for which we will lie on the stomach. Elbow close to the body, chin resting on the floor, both feet close to each other. Remember fingers in line of the shoulder. Lift the chest up, chest and chin up. Elbow close to the body, shoulders roll back. Stay there, normal breathing. If you're comfortable, you can further raise up, getting the elbow straight. Breathe, shoulders relaxed, roll back. Exhale, come down. Do this two to three times. Next, we move to Shalabhasan, where the palms are placed beside the hip, chin resting on the floor. Exhale, lift the right leg up. Remember, don't bend the knee. Completely straight. Notice the involvement of the hip and the hamstring. Stay there, normal deep breaths and inhale down. Exhale, lift the left leg up. Remember, chin down. Normal breathing here. Knee straight. and slowly inhale down now we'll do both legs together lift it exhaling normal breathing face relaxed and inhale down that was shalabhasan now we'll rest in makarasan where the palms are on top of each other elbows straight line and we rest our cheek on it it will help to relax the compression in the lower back. Stay there for 10 seconds and then move to the next asan, which is called Supta Hasta Padangushtasan. You can get the meaning in the description box. Inhale, lift the right leg up. With first two fingers, try to reach the big toe. Remember, other thigh stays down. If you are not able to reach with the first two fingers, you can get a strap or a dupatta or a towel, whatever you can get hands on. For me, it appeared magically, you'll have to keep it with you. Keep it on the sole of the foot and then try to straighten the knee bit by bit. With practice, you'll be able to get it completely straight. Head should be down, very important. Take few deep breaths here, feel the stretch on the hamstring 
and relax the right leg exhaling same on other side and we move to the next asan which is called anantasan named after lord vishnu you take the support of the left elbow bending it and raise the right leg up you can do this up to 8 to 10 times with the back has to be straight continue to lift your leg up you can do it slowly and gradually increase the count back straight again body streamlined now try to reach your big toe with first two fingers and try to hold it if you can't hold it just take your hand near as possible exhale relax that was anantasan you repeat on the same leg then do it on other side two times i hope you find this useful if yes please like share and subscribe few more asanas will be covered in the next part of it stay tuned thank you